Hello everyone, this is Manos, and welcome back to episode 17 on Awoken Nathan server. Today, we're going to be building an iron farm in my industrial area, but off camera, I have uh, worked on my new shop. It's the same design, but I'm just selling rockets now, so I'm going to make tons of diamonds off that. I'm going to sell, or I don't know if, I don't know if I'm going to sell elytra, but basically one diamond per stack of rockets, yep, and uh, yeah, we're going to be making some diamonds, and just get the day started um we're gonna fly into a tree we're gonna fall into, into a ditch and then yeah let's go to industrial district area and before we get to building on the iron farm consider subscribing we just hit 50 subscribers and you would it would really help me if you guys could subscribe and watch to the end because you won't know if you won't like this video unless you watch to the end so to get started i want to find where i want to build my new iron farm I'm, I'm gonna just build it in the corner probably because then I don't have to spawn proof it as much and I can just AFK in the top chamber up there. So yeah, I want to have it running once I AFK, not um, out of sight. So I have to load all my chunks up. So I'm gonna build it right here and next to this little chicken farm or egg farm. Ooh, it has been producing some eggs, but I don't really need eggs. So I'm just gonna go ahead, tear this down as fast as I can. So now I need to pillar up a few hundred blocks. I don't know how many. I just need to pillar up as far so the iron golems won't spawn on the sides of the wall. And this design is from Silent Whisper. It is in, the link is in the description because I am really enjoying on the new technical side of Minecraft. Except I, I am having trouble designing. So I just went with Silent Whisper's design. He's an amazing YouTuber. You should definitely go sub to him if you do enjoy my videos. Because he pretty much sponsors my whole minecraft redstone career and farming career so a big shout out to him and right now i am building the platform um for the iron golems to spawn in for the where there's gonna be water streams leading up to do a lava blade kill chamber drop shoot which is gonna kill the iron golems and let's quickly build this platform and another platform on top off camera so now if we look at it it is complete oh my god that looks so good it looks like one of those, um, what's called? Flying machines. I don't really know what, not Minecraft flying machines, but yeah, it, it, it looks so symmetrical. And now we just need the, lo the collection system, the lava blades, the and the villagers. That's basically it. And if you didn't know, iron farms in the bedrock edition do work like the old mechanics, except it now relies on villagers and beds instead of doors. So basically we're gonna need, oh my God, what is that? I ain't going in a, what the fudge? So basically, it relies on the amount of villagers that are working. And a quick disclaimer, this is only for the Bedrock Edition. For Java people, you guys can literally build the easiest farms ever. And you need 20 beds and 10 villagers working. And they must be able to reach the workstations. They don't have to be able to sleep. They just need to be linked with a bed. And now I'm going to quickly place down a bunch of rails to the industrial area to put the villagers there. So a quick time lapse talk before we the time lapse is over. Um, you're probably wondering why I want so much iron for this video, or why I want so much iron in general. So next episode, I want to make an automatic flying flying machine sugarcane farm because I've never built one of those. And I don't really want to see how it will turn out in my industrial area. So basically, that's a little note why I want to make an iron farm right now. So enjoy the time lapse and please watch at the end. So the final step is to get all the beds placed in. Make sure to have 20 beds exact, or if you have more villagers, then um, add more beds, cause that will, you need beds to link up with the villagers, or else the villagers will not spawn iron golems. So I've decided to use fletching table. See if you have green particles going up like that, um, like that there, again, 
it means the village a villager has linked up to a bed, which is good news. So the so the iron golems can spawn and they do have a workstation that they can pathfind to. So this design is obviously silent whispers, like I've said in the, before in the video, because I can't be bothered to design by myself, but I really enjoyed his design. I always enjoy his content, so make sure to go sub to him. He's a very good Minecraft inspirational YouTuber. He's actually why I actually started getting into Minecraft technical, more of Minecraft technical side, or Minecraft Bedrock's technical side. So I should probably stop going on about my life story and actually get on with the video. Nighthawk's having a meltdown in chat, but I kind of want to help him, but it's pretty late for me. So I'm going to have to go AFK. And let's try to, try to get a good view of our new iron farm. Our iron farm. Look at that thing. It's majestic. It's going to be chuffing out so many irons. Iron ingots. Yeah, basically I knew what I meant. And this is... I am so proud of myself. I didn't design it, but it's still a really proud thing to do. Iron farms are mm, complicated because the bedrock, are, it's a little bit more weird. So I suggest going, looking at the link in the description and clicking that link because oh my, my stupid sheep eyes are just saying, yeah, go click the link. Yeah, click the link. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. Like if you did enjoy because more videos will be coming out. And next episode, I will teach you how to make a flying machine in Bedrock Edition. That's it, guys. Bye, everyone.